I can out the file called names.list, you can see there's a bunch of names in there. We can use uh, C or WC-L to get the line count. You can see there's 754. It's nice because it's an even number. And what we're going to do is we want to shuffle up that file and then take half the names and match them up with the other half. This is useful if you want to match people up from a list of names or just match things up from any list of names or any list. So here we go. Let's uh, do this. And so we do know from previous videos that we can use said to get even odds. But first thing we want to do is shuffle up the names. And there's different. There's a shuffle command, a shuff command. But you can also use sort dash capital R and a file, and it will shuffle up the list. So there you go. You can see it shuffled up the list. I can run it again. It shuffled it up again. What we want to do is put that into a variable. I'll put it into a variable called random. Random, and then we're going to get the output of that. So now I can echo random. And what it will do is it will show us all those names shuffled up. But there is one problem. It's showing it all as one line when I echo it like that. So what we need to do is set the internal field separator. That's capital IFS in bash. And we're going to say equals and we're going to say space. So it's going to use the space character as a special separator character. So it's important that this list in this particular case doesn't have any spaces. So these aren't first and last names. They're only first names with no spaces. But once we do that, we can issue that echo command with random again. And now everything is in one long list. The list doesn't change now because even though they've been shuffled up, they're shuffled up once inside there, which is important. What we're going to do now is we want to grab just the odds and just the evens and we're going to put those into variables. So we're going to say uh, for odds, we're creating a variable called odds. We're going to say echo the random list and then we're using said to get all the odd lines from that list. Then I can do the same thing for evens. So I'm saying evens equals and we're going to echo that list into said but this time we're saying two here before the tilde and that's saying uh, get the evens. So now I can echo uh, dollar sign odds and I can also echo dollar sign evens. What we want to do now is put those two lists together and we can use the paste command. So what we're going to do is say paste and then we're going to use the greater than symbol and then here we're going to echo out odds and then the greater than symbol again and inside these parentheses echo out even. And what that's going to do is going to give us the two lists lined up next to each other. There we go. There's a little bit of a formatting issue. That's not a problem because we have the column command. So we can run the same command as before, but pipe that into column dash T. And now we have a nice list where every user on the list is teamed up with somebody else on the list randomly. Now we can put all that into a script as I did here, my team up script. You can see it's doing the same things that we just went over. So now every time I run this team up script, it's going to take that file with the list of names and team everybody up with someone else on the list randomly. So every time I run it, you're going to get teamed up with somebody else on the list randomly. I used a big long list of names. In fact, if we were to put this into our WC count or our WC-L to count, you can see we have 377, which is half of the what 754 that we started with. So we know that we've got everybody in the list. And uh, yeah, I'm using a big list here, but this might be useful if you're uh, a coach on a team or some at some point you need to team people up and you want to do that randomly with a script. This is how you do it. You can do it with 10 people. You can do it with 100 people. It's just kind of important for the list to be an even number. Otherwise, someone's going to be left out. Anyway, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and also check out link in the descriptions to the notes on all of this. Have a great day.